Welcome to Laser Tech and Crafts. Today I want to show you how to draw the Earth and the Moon on Google Drawings. So, let's begin with drawing a huge circle from shapes. So now I'm going to draw a huge circle. This is going to be the Earth. You can pick colors or customize them from the customize. On customize, the only thing you have to do is pick a color shade and move this dot. And you can also pick the transparency, which makes it cool like a cooling shade. If you ever notice, there are Legos which have a color transparency. Um, so that's how... And this works too. It's slightly transparent. But we're not going to put that transparent now. So we have a circle. But you see this black line here? We don't want that line. This is how you get rid of it. You go, to, you go and pick the same color in borders. A border is that black line. Now, let's see about the continents. To pick the continents, there's one button after the cursor. You can click the down arrow and press curve. After you press curve, you have to click on the curve and then what you get to do is draw lines. You can draw as many lines as you want. It bends them for you. So you can draw continents. So I'm going to draw... How about... I'm going to draw three continents. The thing about this messing up is you have to click the cursor after you're done. Now I have my three continents. You can put them any shape and you may rotate them as well. But pretend you messed up. When you you can double click on the shape and you'll find dots. You can drag the dots and change the shape completely by just dragging the circles. As I told you, we could put borders. So, I'm going to draw a border. I'm going to put green and draw a border. Draw this and put a border. You have to do them for all of them. If you know the trick of um, shift and clicking three of them all together the thing about google drawings it doesn't allow that so well so i'm gonna do the shift one one really quick shift 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 and look it literally just caught on my even i didn't click sometimes this happens and that's why this messes me up so it sometimes works, it sometimes gets messed up, so I don't use this feature on Google Drawings, but I do use it on slides. It works on slides, by the way. Now, I want to draw the moon. The moon is not as big as the Earth, but almost big as the Earth. So now what I'm going to do is we want some kind of red... You know, like black, grayish white. So, this is where the customizer comes. So, if you go to the color, you can find that I already customized it, but after you go to customize this, you can click add and remove, adding circles. But I want white. I'm gonna put white color there. And pretty grayish color down there. When I'm done, I get this. Now what I'm going to do is kind of rotate it. Maybe. 
you can rotate it by just clicking on this dot and I don't want it to be so actually oh. I want it to you can pick directions and how much far you want it but the thing is you can put it in any position you want so this could be like a half moon from earth maybe you want to put it a little closer or farther you can do anything you want now let's work on the background the background is you know dots and we don't want dots what we want to do is draw a huge square in Google Slides there's a background button you can actually use that background button in Google Slides but this Google Drawings does not have background so now you might be wondering wait a minute all my pl my planets are gone don't worry just press Control shift down arrow this can bring things back now we want a we don't want a pitch black background so now we want to draw a star draw a star we need a tiny circle i'm gonna draw big so we I can show you how I draw it, uh, but you can put it as small as you want and as big as you want. Surely it's not gigantic. And you can arrange your background as you want. So now what I'm going to do is pick a white. Now I have a white star. There's only, you know, color of white. So what I want to do is pick another shape, which is a rectangle, which is a rectangle. Now I'm going to drag it, maybe aim it and put it in different types and pick white on both. I'm going to take that, click white. Now what I'm going to do is copy it and paste it. So I'm going to copy this one, and I got another rectangle. Now I can go to range, and then press rotate and 9 degrees clockwise. After you have that, copy it, then arrange, rotate, clock, clockwise. Copy it, and paste it, and then arrange, rotate, and clockwise. Now we have a star. So I'm going to delete the star really quick so I can put smaller ones I already created. Um, so you can create as many stars with Control C and V copy and pasting you can create as many as you want and put them in all random positions and light up the background by the way it's a simple trick if you really wanted to have like maybe you wanted to have like a background that's not so you know it's not so blackish and maybe a different background so to get a different background you may just search a image on Google and just insert it on this page and then you have like a star thank you for watching Lego Tech and Crafts Please subscribe and like this video too.